This college football bowl picks part two edition of the Sports Game Podcast is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Draft now or play Underdogs Pick 'em for a chance to win 100x. Promo code SGPN at Underdog Fantasy for a 100% deposit match. We're also brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use code SGPN to get 50% off your first month and start making smarter bets today. Hey, this is Pac Man Jones. You're listening to SGPN. Let it ride. The sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. Make sure you subscribe to the college football experience. Yes, your home for college football bowl action. The king of bowl games himself, Mr. Colby Dant, aka Pick Dundee, aka the Bowl Brother. What's happening, Colby? <laughs> the Bowl Brother. Oh, he's got <laughs> he's got a Pick Dundee hat now. Look at this. Good day, Mike. <laughs> Where did this come from? Were you? Did you see my? Hold on. You got jealous of your fedora, Ryan, and he decided to up it with a nice crocodile Dundee no, hat. No, no, no! You don't come on my show and have the better hat. <laughs> uh oh, we got old-fashioned hat off on the sports gambling podcast. <laughs> it's sitting on top of my head makes it really look like on top of the headphones really makes it look like a like some sort of Abe Lincoln top hat. <laughs> Oh, Blake, uh, fire shots fired at Colby for bull picks. Wait, I can't. Oh no, no, don't I even understand what he's referring to because ODU is the favorite. What do you mean? Is it possible? Colby takes points. Hmm. ODU is the favorite. What does that even mean? That I don't know. I don't know what he's referring maybe, to. Maybe Colby. he's talking about a different game. Like the, the there are other games that you picked on the show. True. <laughs> I hit my two locks, hit UCLA and hit the Montana Grizz. Of course, hopefully you got the uh, Grizzlies when we gave them out at a plus one and a half as they uh, ended up only winning by two. I think that closed uh, two and a half. So uh, Dick puncher checking in the chat, uh, assuming this has a hard out. Yes, we are counting you down. <laughs> I will not be missing any of the Eagles game to talk about college football bowl games. That's why we have a hard out. Yeah, fun drinking game. Say, in Watch the business. Colby and I stall the shit out of the show and then Sean just interrupt oh, I'm not us. Above, I'm not above uh, walking out or just putting the game on while you guys <laughs> blabber about. Well meanwhile I'm just sitting here cashing locks left and right college football action. It looks me and Colby are on some sort of quest and you're just hanging out. In your garage. Yeah, you guys look like you're on the set of Indiana <laughs> Jones, and I'm a uh, I'm the grip working the uh, movie. <laughs> I like that. I like having the hat over here. It's a nice uh, little Zorro. Kind of blocks my view. Anyway, we're so here talking college football. Colby's really quiet, Ryan. I think the bit uh, where we joke around about his love of college football bowl games it's gone too far. He's what, really what mad. happened? I don't know. He's quiet. What's up, Colby? Ah, these games suck. <laughs> yeah. Perfect way to get people ready yeah. to tune in. How you, do, how you guys doing out there in the universe? Uh, there was money to be made. UCLA. When I came on your yes. uh, on Vison, I did promote that UCLA uh, tout, minus the tout, points tout. as one of my favorite plays. I know on here I said UTSA, but they don't play yet. They play tomorrow. Yeah. So. Well, wow, that's a. Yeah. Huge. I cashed uh, UCLA. I liked it so much I locked it up, Colby, and uh, as well as the Montana Grizz. And, and the fact we didn't hit Jacksonville State. Hey, three defensive touchdowns by Louisiana. Like they had no business even being in that game. What happened to Cal? They got off to a great start and then just completely fell apart. I don't know. I fell asleep in that one. <laughs> oh, wow. uh, but uh, my, did, my they were God. up 14, seven and I fell asleep. Um, you know, these games are, these games are really tough, dude. They're, they're spring games. They're, we're watching spring games essentially. Yeah. Which is a fan of spring football. I'm in. Well, can, can we get back? This oh, should, I don't even mean spring football. I'm talking about spring Colby. games for the, for the college football team. Should, this should be the preseason. Give us a couple weeks of bowls to get us our appetite yeah. wet for the college football season. Yeah. yeah. They'll, they'll figure it out. I will sure. say this. I mean, the Western Kentucky ODU game was entertaining. What do you mean? It was a 28 point comeback. Oh, 
It was bonkers. Yeah. So you so you're into points now. And sorry if I'm distracted. I'm trying to secure a, a flight and ticket to a, a Tommy DeVito uh, signing at the Hobby Hive in uh, East Hanover, New Jersey. So <laughs> uh, if I appear to be at all distracted, is that a gift for someone, Ryan? Oh, I'm I'm, I'm actually trying to find someone who's going to the event to secure oh. me something. Oh wow, a Tommy DeVito autograph incoming. Mm. If you plan on going to the Hobby Hive. Uh, in East Hanover, New Jersey. On Are you Tuesday. trying to get the autograph? Just, just, just wait two years and you'll get autographed. It He'll be working for yeah. us. <laughs> well, I want a full, it, whatever the biggest fucking helmet they have signed, get it to me, ship it to me. It'll, it'll be worth your while. Trust me. It's a quest for someone if they want it. All right. My quest is uh, to stack up as much little Caesars pretzel mm. crust pizza that I can do. Love me some little Caesars. Uh, we're taping this right before Monday night football kicks off. Perfect time to uh, pick up the old internet. I was going to say pick up the phone, but honestly, no one's calling uh, little Caesars. They're going uh, online. You can get it in store with the pizza portal pickup or get it delivered. Oh, look at that. Shout out to Josh. I gotta get all on they got a, here. They got a, this, a movie yeah, now. I mean, that's look not a this. Look at that. Look at that brush. Just brushing look. the pretzel crust with gold. That's not a pizza. That's butter. a pizza. That is a pizza. Look NSFW, Sean. That's what that's. I'm getting hungry, Ryan. We gotta end the show now. I gotta get my little C's delivery in. Uh, we are ready to go. Locked in on little C's as always. That thing is just, gosh darn delicious. Uh, you can get it delivered or in store. Like I said, pizza portal pickup. Grab some friends and enjoy a few slices during the game. Little Caesars, pizza, pizza. All right, let's get to the picks. Pretty aroused. I mean, the way that that butter was being stroked on that oh, crust, <laughs> and the the salt, as you describe it, just being sprinkled on. It was sensual. I mean, <laughs> it was very metaphorical, right? Not every piece of salt mm. made it home and on a successful mission. Many of the pieces of salt end up dying out in a pool of butter. Oh, all right. How, how do you feel about salt? I'm trying to teach you about sex, and you're not even paying attention. <laughs> South He's Florida. One of those guys who will get penetration. It, it's, it's a it's a low hit ratio. So I'm saying South Florida heads. All right. Here's where we got to be prepared. So this is the 21st of December, which is Del Boca Vista, right? Thursday. Yes. Thursday. Which we unlock. The reason there aren't bowl games on Wednesdays are is because the NBA plays on Wednesdays, and so they don't want any conflicts <laughs> there. ESPN's good. Oh, I thought it was like a Maction thing. No, no, it's uh, ESPN owns. They all should the just balls. keep running Maction. Who cares? Colby, can we get a ten-part miniseries on why ESPN owns all the ball? We need to look deeper into this. Maybe on our list. I our think new it podcast. goes back to the '80s on them oh, being no. the first network that put South that put Florida a bunch of college football on and Syracuse. They had a beautiful Boca Raton. Play some shuffleboard, hang by the pool, drink a Manhattan, play some football. Syracuse, hot off landing. I mean, Colby, we're gonna have to pause and talk a second how Ohio State's quarterback leaves for seemingly no one to replace him, and he goes to Syracuse. This new Syracuse, <laughs> way better than the one. Well, the old- they got Fran Brown coming in, which, well, by the way, first time. Uh, maybe ever I that name? there's been a black guy named Fran. Well, he's the will, uh, he's the will also, Wade of college football. What, what do you mean? Oh, just well, by bringing in just the bringing most in talent? aggressive bag dropping. Well, I have always wondered. I, I had I had wondered since nil became legal, like how like they have Syracuse alums are rich as fuck. Well, how, so how are they not throwing more money into football and basketball? They're, they're also low key the Illuminati of sports. They control the media. They have, they have a lot of influence. What's going uh, on here? They're laying two and a half here against USF. You gotta get rid of that dome. One thirty-five on the money line, plus one fifteen for South Florida. Fifty-six and a half is the total. Cuse love oh, Syracuse really in this spot. Garrett Schrader not playing. Uh, the he has been ruled out. Although redshirt freshman Braden Davis, he's in the mix. They even got a tight end Dan Valari, uh, possibly in the Thundercat role. Colby, you getting excited? And and a lot of people from upstate New York now probably moved down to Florida. South Florida, I can't imagine, is excited for this game. Rocky Long coming up with a defensive game plan for this game. All signs point to Cuse. Syracuse minus two and a half. No. South Florida all day. Look, really? uh, Syracuse doesn't have Dino Babers. He's no, on an island turn, with his buyout money. A little turnout turnover. They're replaced by Nunzio Campanelli. <laughs> <Ooh>. uh, <laughs> Hey, watch your tongue here. Uh, Forget about it. No, it's just it's just the 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 tale of two different 
projection or like tra- trajectories. Like South Florida's in their first year with Alex Godla Golesh. Uh, <laughs> well, that's very and, nice. And, uh, that's you know, and, <laughs> and, and the, you know, they're, they're six and six year one. They're building towards year two. Meanwhile, Syracuse, yes, they've been making some splashes in the portal, and, and but that th- this is not that team. So next year will be a brand new era for 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 the Orange Men. Uh, so right now, I think you just right, got to right. take South Florida, especially yeah. there at home. I don't UCF think Syracuse excited. has anything to play for. UCF excited to be there. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Yeah, the, 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 in a different part of Florida, they to get the, get excited. I haven't been to a bowl game in like what was a the, long time, six years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, roofclaim dot com. They do roof inspection. Which, what are we? What are we missing? What racket are we? Wait, missing you on? were on the phone with uh, some. Y- y- you might want to give them a call, buddy. I know you got some property down there in in uh, Florida. Oh, and don't get me started yeah. on the insurance <laughs> bu- the insurance business in in <laughs> in Florida. It's it's an insane racket. Like you, if you want to, yeah, if you want to. Defraud people uh, out of money. Go to Florida, start an insurance company. Um, yeah, unbelievable though. I mean, this is how much are they paying for this? Yeah, the I mean, roof claim. Dot, go to their website. They're not paying fifty grand. Are they paying either that or they're fle- again? They're fleecing people. Yeah, five star inspections. We manage the project from beginning to end. A million Sounds dollars. Legit. Million dollar guarantee. Sounds like a tout. Most shingle roof hey, replacements. Take are, care of your shingles, all right? Hey, they, they can do most replacements in one day. Wow, Fucking that's great. Hey. All right, Kramer, what do you know? Oh no, I'm with, I'm with Colby. One team's trying, and the other is completely disheveled. Although I would say, is I mean, Syracuse can be an interesting team next year. Well, if they start putting money into their athletic department, you'd be surprised what you can do. You can, you can do more than Bob Costas' pink eyes. Well, and with <laughs> with the influence, yeah. What is uh, what is Bob Costas donating? Come on, so I'm saying Mike Tarico. Don't they have like fucking? They, they have some, everybody. All the big uh, media Kiffin. Kiffin. half of Hollywood here working. I feel like our Syracuse alums. What are you guys doing? Wow, that was some of that Sharknado money in there. All right, Georgia Tech heads to Tampa, Florida, to take on UCF. A little bit of a we'll call it a, a home road spot for UCF. I'm sure the uh, Central Florida boys are excited to get out of the. Sticks and head to the uh, big city on the bay, Tampa. Strip clubs, at least. Which team is uh, more heavily affected by the strip club scene? Well, mm. of course, Georgia. Georgia Tech. They're coming from these country they're, boys. They're coming from the mecca. You know what really bothers me is three thirty on Friday now. These people that set the bowl games up. This we've seen this game in the regular season like the past couple yeah. of years. Very very boring is Georgia Tech and UCF. What you could have done is UCF against Miami because Miami's playing Rutgers, which no one has any interest in. And you could have made that a fire bowl game down there because they hardly ever play each other. There's animosity between both schools, and your ratings would be better. But no, you give us Georgia Tech, and by the way, you could have done Georgia Tech with Georgia Southern and Georgia State, which would have been better because there's animosity between their programs. But once again, failure on on all fronts. But uh, anyway, how you guys doing? Uh, UCF <laughs> laying the points. That's what I'm doing. They own Georgia Tech. Uh, they get the better quarterback. Could be a bit of a shootout. You got to take the better offense. So yeah, give me UCF laying the number. Inspired by the legend of the pirate Jose Gaspar, ye mystic crew of <laughs> Gasparilla was founded in 1904 as an organization dedicated to enriching the vitality and imagination of Tampa and its surrounding community. Wow, I didn't really. This is the, so Gasparilla <laughs> is a pirate festival. It's a pirate festival in Tampa. How do we not talk about this with Mike Leach? I know, I know. Damn. I don't know how the hell we missed out on that. Uh, and they, well, they and knowing, in that last year, they might have they played in that last year, but he was he had passed. Knowing by someone um who lived in the Tampa area for a while, this is a big deal. This is a big deal. Yeah, they've for been the doing locals. it for 106 years. <laughs> yeah, it's it's basically like a Mardi Gras, but in Tampa. And so they made a football game about hmm. it. Works perfect. And you know, we we I guess in honor of of Coach Leach, we I guess we support pirates. Yes, I do. So which team here more embodies the spirit of pirates? I would say the Golden Knights. Yeah, and I think that's why we ride with the Golden Knights. They're also going to have the crowd. Also worth noting that uh, UCF was was one of the originating uh, components of of Colby's. Whoa, logo, whoa, so. whoa, Ryan! <laughs> Inspirational. Yeah. What did I say? Uh, you made it seem like we ripped off their logo. Yeah, okay, mused. <laughs> Arkansas State. Now we're on to Saturday, nine a.m. On the West Coast, Montgomery, Alabama. For, for the love of God, like we don't need to randomly have a million bowl games in Alabama. Well, that's that's what bothers me here. Is it just 
Troy, you couldn't <laughs> you couldn't play this elsewhere. Uh, I, again, it seems like they love football in Alabama the most. Arkansas State, Northern Illinois, minus two and a half for Arkansas State, minus one thirty five in the money line. Northern Illinois, one fifteen fifty three and a half is the total. I got good news. We got the bur- so it's it's uh I was in the wrong. You might want to watch this one because they only have two opt outs. Really? Hmm. All right, one for each team, so it's pretty fair. Pretty fucking fair. It's a real football game. Yeah, I mean, un- unless something happens in the next couple of you know days, but uh, yeah, I mean, Arkansas State kind of beat no one good, but got there. Kind of a fun story because once they went to their freshman quarterback, they ended up putting up a bunch of points. Uh, and then Northern Illinois with Rocky Lombardi, who's been in college ooh, for 20 ooh, years. Uh, Jalen Rayner is the uh, quarterback for Arkansas State. True freshman. Yeah, he's been a stud and he's been fun to watch. And it would have been interesting to see, you know, them it, had they started him earlier in the year, uh, what their record would be. But um, I can't take Butch Jones. Give me, give me Rocky. I can't fade a Lombardi, especially in December. Uh, so we're going coaching because Rayner. Uh, yeah, Jalen Rayner. We don't like him, Colby. Young, fresh, true freshman. No, I like do. I just don't trust. Opportunity. I don't trust Butch Jones to have his team prepared. Okay. And I think Northern Illinois. They, they've been a wild card all year. Like they might, they could lose this game by thirty. They could also win by thirty. Uh, but I just think I, I trust them. They have a what eight year starting quarterback. Uh, you, give me, give me the Huskies there in Montgomery. Dog. Kramer, what are you doing? Uh, I, I, you know what. I completely zoned out that entire time Colby was ta- talking. It was so riveting. So I'll just take the two and a half. That sounds right. <laughs> that sounds right. <laughs> All right. I was reading about Camellia, the Camellia Bowl, and how mm-hmm. it used to be the Tax Act Camellia Bowl. And then before that, it was the Camellia Bowl. And before that, is the Raycom Media Camellia Bowl. And I was the whole time, I'm wondering why do we need this game? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great question. I'm uh, on call. I'll, I'll take you and I. Better bowl games later, right, Colby? The games get better as we go. This is the re- inverse no, six pack. Okay. No, not at all. All right. Hey, just a reminder: underdog <laughs> fantasy promo code SGPN. Uh, get the 100 percent deposit bonus up to 100 dollars. Perfect for some college football pick 'em. Getting down on some bowl game action. Underdogfantasy.com promo code SGPN. All right, Kramer. What do we got? Troy Duke. Oh yeah, big one here. We got the Birmingham Bowl because and having the Camellia Bowl in Montgomery, Alabama. Not enough football in Alabama because they it means more. So we got double, both two games in Alabama at the same time. Like, what are we doing here? At least let the people in Alabama drive from one game to the other. Birmingham Bowl sees Troy minus seven and a half against Duke. Duke uh, plus two fifty on the money line. Forty four and a half is the total. Duke lost their coach, so I'd imagine. Well, no, a- both teams lost their coach. Troy's John Summer is now at Tulane. They're going with uh, defensive coordinator Greg Gasparato. Is that what? might be a bowl game? Uh, <laughs> the Gasparato Greg bowl. Gasparato uh, <laughs> bowl game. Uh, the Gas. Yeah, tune into the Gasparato Bowl going on in Birmingham. <laughs> Got to get some uh, of that yogurt to help with your stomach, bro. Also, <laughs> also, their top linebacker, I believe, what hit the portal. Uh, and Duke, everyone's out. I mean, Riley Leonard was already injured the the final what? four games. He's now at Notre Dame. The running back Jordan Waters, he is now at NC State. Absolutely disgusting. Can we come up uh, with a term for a a quarterback leaving one private school to go to Notre Dame? <laughs> uh, yeah, we got to we got to have a term for that. Yeah, the initiation. Yeah. Uh, defensive end uh, R.J. Oban also went to Notre Dame as well. Their defensive tackle, linebacker, defensive yeah, so back, we're just safety. Duke, right? Mike Elko gone. I. This is honestly both is seven teams. and a half too crazy for Troy though. It seems like it might. Like I'll, take, I, I'll, I'll take the points. It's just, just like, like both I, teams don't have their coach. Yeah, just, I like the idea of fading Duke, but not at this number. Like, what in what world should Troy be laying seven and a half? Well, no. Yeah, is this like UCLA where they just the backups will be good enough? Mm-hmm. Is the roster good enough? Because Troy is like one of those, but this Troy uh, Troy's not as stacked as a UCLA. Uh, but no, they get the SEC runoff down there. Mm-hmm. See, like I would imagine their depth in their roster is is maybe even equal to Duke's at the bottom. Is that possible? Sure. All right. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Lay the points. So it's almost like Colby's being held hostage, and they're like, "George, <laughs> should we should we contact someone about uh, letting you out?" Yeah, sure. sure Blink whatever. three times if you'd rather be. All right, uh, 12- this is it. Like, if my wife, hey, do you want to go see the Nutcracker? Sure, sure. 
I mean, I, sure. I I just blame our generation. How do we take this? We ruin our generations. The, the, probably the worst generation for the history of the world, I think. But Where, I, where's the lawnmower sound effect? You know Get what I mean? Like lawn. we ruin bowl games. This is all useless. You know what I mean? There's no coaches. Colby's yeah. been bad, really bad at this. Right? Yeah, that's why. That's all why. Right, I give me, him. give me Troy. <laughs> I might have to flip all the picks. I agree with Colby on. No, go, well, I I like Duke. I'm sticking with Duke. Okay. Troy should not be laying seven and a half. George, you're, you're riding with me. You're not fading Colby. If you're, if you're taking, <laughs> that's, that's one way to look at it. Georgia state has the Boise, Idaho. Wow. What a reward for Georgia state. Uh, they're taking on Utah state. <laughs> I think hey, I'd rather go to Boise hey, than Birmingham. Get what? Well, maybe <laughs> you, you win, uh, you win enough games Hit to, go to Sun a, Valley to go to a bowl you know. game and you go to Idaho. Well, this is sweet because they, they still dump the fries on the head coach. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that's we this can is, look forward to that. How about we don't waste perfectly good potatoes? Twelve thirty oh. on the West Coast, Utah <laughs> State laying three minus one fifty. I did. Uh, someone reached out in social media, <laughs> and by reach out, I mean uh, talk a bunch of shit. They were they were making fun of. I think it was me uh, for making fun of Italians because at one at one point they said you fucking potato eater. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, see, that is good, like that. old-fashioned racial humor, and, but and I also our country like, needs it. Yeah, but it also like Italian people also love the potato. Yeah, that's. I uh, mean, what do you think Noki is? A lot, a lot of traditional Italian dishes uh, have potatoes in yeah. them. So, oh, I know. I didn't. I didn't want to ruin his bit. And honestly, the Irish and the Italians were always persecuted together and mm-hmm. lived in the same ghettos. So that's um, how we started this show. Yeah, the, you yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, Irishman dragging on the coattails of a like, fine oh, Italian yeah. American <laughs> individual with a uh, with motor. All right, so Utah State's laying three in the bowl game. That who wants to be there more, Colby? Uh that's a very good question. I guess hey, we'll there's find a lot out. of do- hey, a lot of doors to knock on up in Boise for those Utah kids. Utah I, State, I think to me, uh, maybe the motivation and certainly coming in. A little bit hotter, Georgia State. They haven't won since mid-October, and, and, they and had, their whole team left. And they have a ton of turnover issues. So if you're like sloppy in the regular season, I don't know. It, it, to me, Utah State's the play. They're, they're starting running back, Georgia State's. That's one of the best in the nation. Is now at Missouri. Their starting wide receiver is now at Auburn. Utah State their is right like tackle is uh, is has moved on too. I think to Tennessee, if memory serves me correct, and their cor- their top corner left too. So, so Utah State, yeah. Oh. <laughs> It's easy to bet. Wait, you like you? You've been horrible, though. That's true. It's true. Yeah, I don't. I don't see the motivation for Georgia State. I'm gonna go Utah State as well. They keep a good program. Should be cold too. You remember those little, you know, Georgia State's in Atlanta, and they have to go up there to, to Boise, where I feel like well, Utah State's saying. used to that. I'd be like, yeah. Coach, what are we doing here? Like, yeah. we do we have to go to these bowl games? What's the purpose here? <laughs> A couple thousand. What, what's the payout? What, what do you think? The how much does the school get for winning this game? You think? I uh, I have no idea. I mean, a couple couple hundred grand, maybe. I don't know. Hundred grand. Let's say a hundred grand. What do you? Forty five sacks of potatoes. Uh, Whoa! How much? Eight hundred grand in twenty nineteen. Oh, so it's probably it's like one mil. Ooh, this is a nice little bowl game here. Nothing to sneeze at. And you get free fries. Those country boys got some money. We saw Are those freedom fries. You think? Oh, well, they're certainly not calling them French fries. I, free Dom th- fries, more like it. Free, <laughs> free Dom, the Eagles security guy. He's so, being persecuted. You know, right, unbelievable about nonsense. You know, that's Bannon, almost as bad as bowl season. Ban him from right. the sidelines. Yeah. What's worse, that or making just horribly, obscenely racist gestures on the field, national television. Fox did nothing to blur him out. They're showing him in the replay. Jo- Producer Josh, please blur my hands. <laughs> Doing the Italian <laughs> fingers. Paisan. Oh my god. It's it's gotten out of control. Like there some people are gonna we're it's gonna be like Kennedy all over again. Some bullets are gonna fly <laughs> through some heads and we're gonna be like, what happened? Who Ted, what happened? Talking Ted Kennedy? I'm just saying, if some if some uh some some heads get deflated, maybe we shouldn't be so slanderous. All right, so uh So Ryan, you're saying this thing should be blurred as it's offensive to Italians. No, no. I'm suggesting that if you're going to use it in an offensive way, okay. Yeah. That in fact, I would, I would go as far to say if we, if we like uh, took this scenario and applied it to many different other oh, cultural wow, verticals, right. this would cause <laughs> massive, massive <laughs> uprising. I mean, well, a man it, kneeling on the sideline caused a fucking mm, stir culture war. So I'd, ima- <laughs> I'd imagine that certain things might be 
might might have uh, you know. Oh, cousin Mush in the chat saying he loves a good gnocchi. So also fellow potato eater. <laughs> oh, well, of course. What's up, Mush is Mush? also a foodie, so it could be his foodie side that's a great. So we're all in Utah State. We're all on Utah Utah State. All right, let's head over to the Armed Forces Bowl. Oh, twelve thirty p.m. on love this one. The West Coast, Fort Worth, Texas. Sean, we've uh, we've actually been hmm. here to the. I, I don't want to call it beautiful, but we've been to Fort Worth. I think we've been here at least. James Madison Air Force. It does seem a little bit stacked here. Air Force catching two and a half plus one fifteen on the money line. Are you gonna really fade Air Force in the total. Armed Forces Bowl? Well, and when you add Aim in, well, did JMU also lost their coach and probably lost their whole coach. roster. Yeah, I, I guess. I guess the concern is it was such a big deal for James Madison to get into a bowl game. Yeah. They made a big deal out of it. They had to have all those things break right. Maybe this ends up being their Super Bowl. But Air Force to me is a team that's gonna get up for this game. Do we have the video of the? Uh, how do you say his name? Signetti. Kurt Signetti. It was again seems like another fine Italian American. Do you? Do we have a uh, Josh? If you can pull ten up- starters are in the transfer portal for JMU. <laughs> Do That's we have do we have the video clip? This is a him? lock. Col- no Colby. one, no everyone plays. For, for do you have Air the Force. short? Do you could you pull up the short video clip of him talking to the crowd at the Indiana basketball game? I can and, try to do and that. And really Air Force is getting their quarterback Zach Larrier. Uh, they did lose John Lee Eldridge though. Larry to the Air, Larry Air, like Darrier. No, I just think that announcers funny way to love say saying Darrier. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I, I I don't JMU would be a tough tough team to take. I, the the spread's very curious as well. So yeah, I'm I'm all over it. I like who's who's betting at this minus two and a half. I don't know, Colby. Yeah. What are you doing? You're also an Air Force. Oh, that's this is one of the ones I actually I actually feel great about this game here. Oh, danger. Um, where send where? send that to Josh because I, I send it's it worth, to him right now. Right it's now. worth playing. For Sean, so he can see like what JMU lost because I, I that in we're gonna we're Indiana football fans next year, Sean. Okay, yeah, you can talk me into. All right, that. well while Josh is oh you here got we it, go nice. here we go. This is at Indiana. What was it? Michigan basketball game. Josh, start it again. I fucked that up. My bad. Visual's not important. Fired up about this opportunity. I've never taken a back seat to anybody and don't plan on starting now. Purdue sucks. <laughs> That's great. But so does Michigan in your high state. <laughs> And then he uh, leaves. That's it. Uh, that's uh, a great that's speech. Great, great writer behind the scenes there. <laughs> it's like he probably forgot what he was saying and he just goes, Yeah, Purdue sucks. And then just destroys. Uh, I mean, you heard the crowd. It's like a total, total moment where it's just like, Yeah, how easy is it to show up to a college and be like, Rival one sucks. <laughs> rival two and rival three suck too. It, I'm out of here. It reminded me of one time I was doing uh doing stand up for like a Arizona State fraternity and uh <laughs> And I forgot I was in the middle of my bit and I forgot what it was. And I go, don't you love tits? And they just love, they just saw yeah. just went off, you know, and that's all so, you really had to do. Some words write themselves Colby. I had a buddy who uh, was doing a set and he was like, all right, if you guys don't laugh at my shot, uh, laugh at my joke, I'll do uh, I'll eat one of these jello shots. So the, immediately the audience stopped laughing at all the jokes just to see him <laughs> keep eating these jello shots. And then he uh, threw up on the way home, and uh, he wasn't driving. Someone else was, but he he tried to throw up out the window and instead got all. Of Wait, the roof this was of in my side. car. <laughs> I think it was. Uh, I don't think it was your car. Uh, I I have a very similar story of oh, someone. Okay. Of, then maybe uh, it was. Maybe it was your car. Of someone uh, trying to throw up outside of my car and it just mm. sprang the people in the back seat. <laughs> I think that actually oh, was a different disgusting. story. <laughs> this guy's thrown out of thrown uh, up out of multiple. Imagine cars. sitting in the back seat and just getting sprayed. Having by the someone. window down on the one hundred and one, just getting sprayed by vomit. It goes out and then comes right back. Well, in. I, I vividly remember being like, "All right, play cool. You can't pull over on the freeway. Do not pull <laughs> over on the freeway." <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving along. Four o'clock on. We're still on Saturday. Oh my goodness, you're kidding me. We're heading back to Mobile, Alabama. 
No, third city in Alabama with a bowl game, Sean, on the same day. Can we launch a Sweet full investigation? Home, Alabama. South Alabama. Is this just to promote Alabama football? South Alabama takes on Eastern Michigan. I forget who's whose directional Michigan team is Eastern. It's not mine. mine. Uh, I got the I'm shirt central. at home. <laughs> Minus 15 and a half. Yeah, I'm Western. Minus 15 and a half for South Alabama. The Jags. Minus 800 on the money line. 46 is the to- 46 and a half is the total. Uh, so the starting oh, quarterback no. of Eastern Michigan's in the portal, and their offensive starting offensive guard, and their best defensive lineman for South Alabama. Their star wide <laughs> wide receiver Carlin Lacy is now at Louisville, and their best player on their whole team, Ladamian Webb, is opting out. It is in Alabama, but this is just way too many points, right? I mean, I know Eastern Michigan's back of quarterbacks probably complete ass, but because because their starter had nine touchdowns and seven interceptions Uden on the season. Kenwo? Yeah. Is that who's playing for him? <laughs> I think so. Ike Odegwendu. <laughs> Ike Odegwendu. You sound like you're doing curls at the same time. Ike Odegwendu, the third. <laughs> He's a. I actually like him because he's a. He can <laughs> supposedly his thing is uh, running the football. I mean, you play a a, a surprise scrambler like Ike Adeguainu, um You're looking pretty. Uh, uh, that's a tough matchup for uh, Southern Alabama. I mean, I, it could have just been my eyes, but it seemed like ten people <laughs> left the chat as you were trying to. Oh pronounce. come on, Ryan! People love that. Uh, the, uh, Eastern Michigan all the way. Go Eagles. Once upon a time, this was uh, the Mo- Mobile Alabama Bowl, then the GMAC Bowl, the GoDaddy Bowl, the Dollar General Bowl, the Lending Tree Bowl, and now it's the 68 Ventures Bowl. Again, Sean, no one knows who 68 Ventures is. Uh, it's so, got to be something to do with a military ship or something. Um, and they have a bowl game. Where is our bowl game? When do we get a bowl game? I, I guarantee we could get everyone. In the chat to donate like twenty bucks, maybe fifty That's bucks true. towards a bowl. That we could true. easily raise. I I guarantee we could raise a million dollars to sponsor a bowl game. Why can't we? Let's Write do us it. at Gambling Podcasts. Uh, Pitch us the idea. Let's go. Just <laughs> send your name and say I am willing to commit to X amount of dollars <laughs> for the DGen Bowl, and we'll start seeing again if we can get up to you know you got twenty thirty grand laying around. We'll get you. We'll get you in the skybox. Uh, you can you can yeah. glad hand we'll with perks. the players, yeah. yeah. Oh, perks! Force the players to hang out with you. <laughs> yeah. you, can wear, you can wear this pick Dundee hat. All right, so we're gonna lock the players in a bar from from seven to nine p.m. the night before the game. You get to be in that bar too. <laughs> That'll be fun. Uh, and by the way, it would have been nice to know the information. Really disappointed in because w- w- I know we lost the Georgia Southern game. I can't win them all. Like, no, but did you see the the reports that they were at the casino at four a.m. <laughs> and they had an eleven o'clock kick? Hashtag uh, these are the. These are That's the Im- why we gotta have sources. So, I know, but someone should have DM me saying that. Then we would have loaded up on Ohio. Yeah, there's no way yeah. there wasn't a guy who listens to our show at that casino at the same time. We probably need to 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 copy the the barstool strategy and just start deploying people as like at TCE. College, yeah, and you know, like, hey, um, unpaid position, but you get to be the representative. <laughs> All the information flows to the mothership, please. So everyone's on Eastern Michigan. Yep, I I love what we're doing right here. Doing a great job. Utah heads to. Uh oh, we're going back to Vegas. This is trouble, and you wouldn't believe it, but somehow the bull people have a sense of humor because at four thirty on the West Coast Saturday, December twenty third, we're gonna get to see Northwestern. Take their car wash on the road to Las Vegas. Think the Utah kids will have any interest in a car wash? Well, here's the Feel, that feels out of bounds for their kind of uh, policy. For them being, you know, run through the car wash. Only one player hit the portal for Northwestern. Mm. Meanwhile, a uh, Utah situation. So we know Cam Rising's out for the year, but Nate Johnson. No, he's. They, no, they might he's start week one. Well, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Next Remember that where they're like, uh, he he could be ready week one. Yeah, well, well, know. get this. The two so we saw this leading up to the season. His backup tore the tore his ACL. Yes. So the guy that was going to start is out for the year. So then they went with the you know a mixture of Bryson Barnes, the pig farmer, and Nate Johnson. Nate Johnson's now at Vanderbilt, and the pig farmer is entering the portal. But he says he will play this game. He says he's not going to leave his team hanging. All right. But I mean, if you're already going to another team. Makes it a little, makes it a little tricky, I think. But also, uh, two of their wideouts, Devon uh, Vele, is in the portal, and he, uh, you know, 
led the team in receptions yardage. I'm sorry. He opted out for the NFL. He's not in the portal. Well, Mikey Matthews, their I, other wideouts in the portal and cornerback J- 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 Travius Broughton is in the portal as well. I definitely think there's like quarterbacks, especially should Does, start to smarten up and realize that there's value to like your name, image, and likeness and your ability to promote yourself increases. If you have like a good bowl performance. Doesn't Utah just destroy Northwestern here? Like their D line, doesn't they just don't they just eat up Northwestern? I uh, mean, Willing Whittingham's historically been a great bowl game coach, but yeah. pre but ever since you got the opt outs, he's actually like zero three. Hmm. Give me, give me, uh, give me the, give me the car wash. Really, Kramer? What are you doing here? Because I mean, Utah. This feels like such a short number. I understand they're missing some guys, but still, talent wise, it's a pretty big difference. I was just and Utah is going to be laser focused. This is the SRS distribution bowl, and quote SRS delivers dreams. I'm not sure whose dream they're delivering in this one. I my instincts would be to look at this in a similar fashion as the. What was Northwestern's win total this year? Like two and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, everyone's out, and I stuck with my Northwestern over, even though everyone's like, "Oh, you know, there's blah blah blah." Also, there's something they to be said coach. there from a motivation edge. The Northwestern yeah. kids. You know what? Now I remember how much uh, Northwestern won me money. Yeah, I'm I'm on Northwestern. Let's Colby's go. right about this one. Kramer, what are you doing? Well, I actually think you know if I had to adjust my bull things, what I've learned is it's almost like action football games. Hmm. What Fade do you mean? what you think. Oh wow, that's a, that's very four D. Very zen. Sixty-six percent of the bets, but only thirty-one percent of the action on Utah. So maybe Colby's on to something. Razor sharp with this take. I'll join you guys. We'll just let's load the Discord up with a bunch of shitty picks. Coastal Carolina and San Jose State got the this is see, this is the opposite of the Boise Bowl. You're heading to Honolulu. Trip to Hawaii. Chain complex, bring your membership. <laughs> let's go. I'm not sure what kind of oh, is that a South Park reference? No. Oh, that's okay. a uh, stadium reference. Got it. Seven seven thirty on the West Coast <laughs> on Saturday, a little late night football. A uh, coastal. Well, no, it's uh, it's in Honolulu, so it's uh, what four thirty their time, five thirty. Oh yeah, I'm saying I'm giving you West oh, Coast okay. time. <laughs> Our time. We're looking at this from a first person's perspective. At seven thirty on our time, well, uh, you'll be maybe you won't be on the West Coast, but Colby and I will be here at seven thirty watching this game, and wondering. <laughs> Boy, is Coastal going to be able to overcome this extra three hours of well, jet lag and everything else? Uh, they're so Grayson McCall, their starting quarterback for like the first nine weeks. <laughs> Where is he off to? He is now at NC State. Oh, he, that's disgusting. We got to absolutely him. disgusting. But then the backup, who looked really good actually, Jared Guest, he's in the portal. So they're on the third string quarterback. Hmm. The, their starting wide receiver, who's really good, is now at Auburn. Jared Brown. Uh, their running back CJ Be- Beasley hit the portal, and uh, linebacker JT Killen. Who was very good for them this year is I, in the portal. I don't want to sound like an old guy, but they do have to sort out the the, the like. There needs to be transfer window. There needs to be a cleaner window. This Why is don't they much. make the transfer window after the bowl games? Yeah, you would think that'd be that'd be a great great move for the sport. Here, here's what all of this is driving. Or why doesn't every player stop being such a pussy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How about that? Yeah. <laughs> That's the other side of it. Maybe maybe uh, finish and do a job. Remember Tom Brady. You know what year he was when he first started at Michigan. Uh, he was what like a senior, right? Senior. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Okay, he didn't transfer. So I'm saying everyone's a pussy these days. You know what I mean? Except Tom Brady. Do you, well, t- Tom Brady. Um, you're gonna want to tune into the NFL Pick Show. We'll do yeah, we'll Tom have, Brady. We'll, on we'll the have show? a little Tom Brady conversation. Um, uh, the mo- if we're looking at the money, San Jose State getting a whopping 88 percent of the dollars, no, only 60 percent no, of the bets. San Jose State does have their starting left tackle hit the portal, portal, uh, and and their tight end. Hit the portal, but I think you got to fade them. Brent Brennan, related to Colt Brennan, uh, really? on the island, you know. The, I think San Jose State shows up, gets it done here. I think the popular side is both have is pretty good defense, coastal, right? I, I think they both have a pretty good defense. Why not take Coastal in the points? Has the has the third string ever thrown a pass for Coastal? Now here's the thing. <laughs> I'm sticking with here. I'm sticking with Coastal. Well, I, I actually it. like Coastal. That's why it's annoying. <laughs> Think, I think this is a you're not thinking about it enough. You're thinking about the Eagles right now. No, I, I think Coastal's a live dog. Go birds. Hey, speaking of uh maybe you want to head out to this uh bowl game, or maybe you want to head to the Eagles game. Whatever game you want to head to, 
Game time is the place you go to get your tickets. That's right. They got the low price guarantee. If you can find a seat in the same row, same section for less, they will refund you 110%. Don't even try because you can't find a lower ticket uh, in the same section. That low price guarantee has you covering game time. Perfect uh, gift for the holidays. Think how many people you got to get presents for game time, especially if you're lazy like me. Holiday shopping. Oh, just sign up over at game time. First off, you get $20 off. Don't see that very often with your holiday shopping. Second, you support the Sports Gambling Podcast by using the promo code SGPN. Third, you give someone what they really want some tickets to a game. That's why you got to head over to gametime.co, use the promo code SGPN to get 20% off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create the account, redeem the code SGPN for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. <sighs> so many games to get to. All right, so we zoom ahead to the 26th, the day after Christmas. We're now in the future, a week plus a day. We weren't sure if we were going to get back together before then. So we're going to rattle off some more uh, ex- riveting games. These are some of Colby's favorites. He's, he's told us 11 AM on Tuesday. Is that yeah? Tuesday we're heading to Detroit, Michigan. Oh man. Another, another bowl game lottery win there. Horrible. Just horrible head right. Stadium. Hey, you, you want to head to Ford Detroit Field sucks. Hang out in the cold bowling green, Minnesota. Basically, two local teams. Minnesota laying three and a half, minus 185 on the money line. Bowling Green plus 155. 38 and a half is the total. Rowing the boat across a fro- frozen lake or something. I got a good feel on this one. Well, we're, well, we're, we're still rowing with PJ. <clears throat> so check us out. Uh, Bowling Green lost their top running back and top corner to the portal. Minnesota lost their starting quarterback. They called him the Greek uh, pop gun, and uh, he's gone. But a couple of years ago, I think it was two years ago. Bowling Green upset Minnesota at Minnesota. Revenge. I think a lot there. of the players on the roster were on the roster then. I actually say let's lay the points with the oh. Golden Gophers. Okay. You, so, but that's what I think. If you really want to be sharp, you probably take Bowling Green then. But I'm taking Minnesota here because I feel good. This is like the Air Force play. There's a couple that I feel all right about. Oh, the no. rest, I'm doing the the opposite <laughs> oh, of what no. I think. Kramer, what are you doing? Well, I wanted to bring this up to, to everyone's attention that you know what this bowl game used to be. This used to be the Little Caesars Bowl. Oh, shout mm. out to Nero uh, and Little Caesars. They, they got out of the bowl game because they were looking around and they go, "These fucking bowl games suck." <laughs> right? <laughs> they're they're way ahead of their time. Like, let's jump on over to the NFL where the the, the games in December mean something. Um, what do we think Quick Lane is? Lube place. Yeah, I see a tire. I assume it's a tire lube oil change place. All right, so um, Minnesota lay the po- this is this is gambling dynamics, and if you if you row must, the boat, if you must ask, sixty nine percent of the bets on Minnesota. So nice, nice. So even though Ryan, I thought market dynamics would tell you not to do that. No, a donkey can always be on the unpopular side. Sometimes okay. you have to read the room and realize that this is a three and a half, and we always lay the three and a half. Most of the time, we lay the three and a half. When it's convenient to me, I'll say we lay the three and a half. Texas State, Rice. We're heading to Dallas, Texas, two thirty p.m. on Tuesday. Texas State minus four, minus one eighty-five on the money line. Rice plus one fifty-five. Sixty and a half is the total for the Serve Pro First Responders Bowl. I, again, not trying to be an old guy with a rocking chair. I, I saw someone in the chat said they they sent a rocking chair in for you, Colby. <laughs> to say, if we get a rocking chair oh. to put right in, in front here, Rock oh. Dundee, Rock Dundee, let's Sorry, go, right, Colby. Two minutes in the rocking chair. I mean, honestly, would be, would I want to meet the, the I want to meet the, the football desk. fan that really thinks this is a great thing that we have going in the bowl season. Hmm. I, I'm with you. There's too many. You can't. Here's the problem with your bowl games. You can't have so many that you say, uh, "Hey, you teams, you're not eligible." And then you get to the end of the year and you're like, "Oh shit, we need more teams." Uh, you teams that we said you're not eligible, come be in a bowl game. Yeah, it's not it's not prestigious anymore. That's the problem. It's just the thing. Well, it's, and, especially when you add in that only like half your roster's playing. And if you've not ever watched the, I believe it was a, I first saw it as like a real sports report. But essentially, these bowl games are just harvesting money from the university. It's this weird thing. I don't understand why they feel like they have to respect the bulls or like work with the bulls ever because essentially the way these bowl games work worth it, they, they make the schools buy half the tickets or 40% of yeah. the tickets. Yeah. And then whatever they don't sell, guess who's on the hook? Brian. 
What we, are, we just spent a good ten minutes talking about how we want to start what? our old our old yeah. bowl game, and now you're explaining the scam to everyone. What do you mean? <laughs> no, you're telling <laughs> well, them, hey, gonna... bowl games are stupid. <laughs> it's about forcing the, the schools to buy tickets. Yeah, that's what we're gonna well, try no, no. and do. That's, but but we're not gonna. You think Colby's gonna put on a bad bowl? Yes, no, that's no, part no. of the no, scam. No, no, no. We put on a good bowl. It's a Ponzi. Oh, see, Five dollars for every first down. <laughs> it's a well, and your tax. Wait, where does the who? Wait, uh, the the teams are charged five dollars. Uh, it goes to a pool. Well, no, five. No, I, I, what do you think about this? Five hundred dollars for every first down. What are you paying? Who does it go? Oh, to? like bounties. Yeah. Oh. Okay. oh. All right. Yeah. That's see? actually electric. That's what I'm and talking live about. gambling. And yeah. and every time a quarterback slides, they're docked four hundred dollars. Oh, oh. All right. I like this. Uh, yeah, no, I'm in, uh, and and I think in general, uh, also tax. Uh, I believe you don't pay taxes uh, if you're a bull entity. So yeah, they're all nonprofits um, doing the Lord's work. D- doing the well, that, I mean, they are a church. All right, so does Wesley Snipes have his own bull? He don't pay taxes. That's a different different reason. He also though. did uh, jail time. Yeah, that was kind of that's kind of uh, fucked up, right? My yeah, fam- well, I mean, the problem like, is just just why couldn't the government say, "Hey, dude, just make a sequel to Passenger Fifty Seven. We take all your money." <laughs> yeah, this uh, pr- produced Pastor by the Internal Revenue he, Service. He did try. Shout, to- shout out to the IRS, good folks. You don't want to you don't want to come at the IRS Every- and say you don't, especially if you're famous. You yeah. start spreading the idea of like, "Hey, we don't need to pay taxes." Those are the guys they go after. But I, I, I love paying shame taxes. on that judge though, because he could have ruled passenger fifty eight <laughs> happened and and all that money. He's sitting. Yeah. Well, that's what that's what happened to Nick Cage, right? He owes a bunch of money yeah. in taxes, and yeah. he's forced to do he all these. Sell, he had to sell his island and his snake in the first Superman comic. Uh, but but yeah, I, I it, it's what about uh, they did money train? What about money plane? Hmm. Yeah, that works. <laughs> Fucking genius. Get to get get to writing it. All right, who are we taking here, Colby? <laughs> Uh, I'm taking rice because JT Daniels, the ultimate lawn chair. Oh yeah. Uh, I, I'm going through my notes here and it says medically retired. <laughs> Fuck off. What does that mean? Yeah. I'm I'm not buying that 100%. What do you mean? Uh, yeah. You he, think he's playing? No. No, oh. no, no. That's why I'm taking rice. Oh, you're saying yeah. that this is like when this they, is addition by when subtraction. they put a horse down. Yeah. A, Texas uh, state two and eight in its last 10 games against Texas schools. Is there something to that rice? Yeah. Uh, I know. Rice is just a, they're a vet, more veteran team. I feel like they're tougher. Wow! I, Give me the Owls I'm, plus four. I'm sensing a lack of confidence. Colby. Then again, since I'm thinking like this, give yeah. me right. Give me Texas Let's State go. minus four. Bobcats. You guys are on the. No, I'm thinking. Uh, uh, what am I doing here? Not giving a shit about the first responder bowl. I, I, I let, there's some good games coming up. Col, some of Colby's favorite games are coming up. <laughs> I mean, Rice is a dog. I'm taking it. Four points, too much for this. All right, put me down for rice. (sighs) Oh no! (laughs) Yes, text guy. I I once again played fucking chess. All right, so uh, (laughs) Kramer's on Texas State. Colby and I are on rice. Uh, (laughs) Producer Josh also on uh, rice. Sharp. Yeah, he's pretty sharp. All right, let's let's head over to the guaranteed rate bowl. Uh, Maybe we get some tickets to this one. Heading to Phoenix, Arizona. Game between Kansas and UNLV. Uh, I would qualify this as boy. How does Colby look? Because this could be a I, I could be interested in this match of Wake Kansas laying twelve and a half minus four twenty five on the money line. UNLV plus three forty sixty four and a half is the total. Are are there a lot of opt outs? Uh, a couple of offensive uh, starters for Kansas, and Seems then also their, their offensive coordinator left for Penn State. Uh, is he coaching though? No, no, he's not coaching. And uh, UNLV lost a starting safety to the portal. Okay, but I, I still think I, I don't know this UNLV team. It's kind of been a good season for them. I know they got worked uh, in that last game, but twelve and a half points for UNLV. I, I think they got a little bit, a uh, little bit of mojo. Now maybe they were a paper tiger, but. Twelve and a half points for this running Rebs team is, is way too much. I think you're right, uh, which is like. You know, because you got to wonder what's the motivation for Kansas. But because I think UNLV yeah. is the right Take side, Kansas. give me Kansas <laughs> minus twelve and a half. Well, I mean, I think UNLV is a live dog and at plus three forty. Stay tuned, but I, I, I could definitely see UNLV winning this game outright. Kurt, I, I think doing? in general, there's you can't lay that that number with that team. Let me look no, at the money. Let, let me pull up the money with their defense at Eight? times. Oh, oh no. 
Uh, it does appear to be a uh, sharp. Ah, fuck it. UNLV. Really? No. You're on Kansas. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Love the zig and zag here. I don't have a lot of conviction. I'll be honest. All right, another shout out to Jake and the or Blake Roberti in the chat saying Italians rock. Um, shout out to you, Blake Roberti. Appreciate you. And uh, shout out to Colby sharing this in the chat that. Uh, restaurant cancels Tommy DeVito appearance after Giants quarterback doubles appearance fee per report. You understand, uh, you know, it's already got into his head, right? Yeah. You guys trying to have trouble? <laughs> you got to own it in the moment. You know what I mean? This yeah, is like Bob's talking about? doing uh, Stone Cold. Well, wait, what's movie. his cameo? He's probably charging like twenty five dollars. And this is this is Coniglio's pizzeria <laughs> for, and for, bakery. Uh oh. Oh. You think he's crossing the wrong family? That might be. That that. I mean, the yeah. Coniglio's well respected <laughs> family. You think got, New York called and they said you got to make it right? The Coniglio's have some ties to the to the outfit uh, up in oh, Chicago. As long as Providence <laughs> keeps their nose out of this. Yeah. He he. The the fee increased from ten thousand to twenty thousand after the Packers win, and the family business said they couldn't afford it. <laughs> All right, uh, we will make an offer you can't refuse: Coniglio's Pizzeria and Bakery in Morrisontown, New Jersey. We will fly out a real Italian, Ryan, real money Kramer, who will make an appearance at Coniglio's Pizzeria. And it will be a favor that you cannot refuse. We would take it as a personal insult at the Sports Gambling Podcast Network if you would refuse such a great favor. Are, are we? He will only request three slices and airfare. Do, yeah, are we no, going to no have meat. to do the uh, Ancestry dot com? Oh, oh that would be a good reveal. How Italian is Ryan? Oh, what do you mean? I'll just have my uncle come meet me down. There, there'll be no He's questions. There's no, there's no questions. Get cu- cousin Bush and his dad will come down for a little road trip. Very Italian. Right on through to the front of the line. There is no. There is no. Uh, uh, Sean's know. met my uncle. Like, yeah, very it's vi- Italian. Visually gentleman. Italian. You know what I mean? You know the type. I might not be visually Italian. My family members are VIP. Visually Italian person. <laughs> You, you, go, it's a party. You, you, you go do the blood tests and uh, gravy comes out, Colby. <laughs> oh wow! Still got. Oh, you're, tr- you're gonna get canceled, dude. Be careful. No, it's a canceled test. like uh, one of those Kennedys got canceled. Uh, Grover the dog saying, "Wow, I am <laughs> shocked that an Italian is shaking down a small business." The next thing you know, uh, <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> all of a sudden this uh, bakery uh, ends up uh, be real fortunate yeah. if they had a gas fire. Yeah, but no one else is gonna <laughs> shake. I would just. <laughs> No one else is going to shake you down. Yeah. I, I, my only little advice, little Molotov, little Molotov cocktail. My, my advice for Coniglio's uh, Bakery is to make sure your gas is off when you lock up at night. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, one way or another, it might get turned on anyway. I, I will say, as a kid, there was a there was a restaurant that served Italian food that had an explosion in the kitchen when I was young. Mm. In hindsight, it seems like probably wasn't a coincidence. <laughs> Virginia Tech and Tulane. Oh boy. Just another fabulous location for a bowl game. We're heading to Annapolis. So a sellout. It's a sellout. Uh, you know why? Those Hokey faithful. Hokies are well, hey, it, yeah, you play you put Virginia Tech in this area, a lot of the alumni are there. Also very excited about uh, the future. A lot of some p- folks who people assumed would maybe transfer away. All right, Virginia Tech Tulane, what are we doing? We're right, right up against kickoff. What do Come you on. mean? Uh, we need we, we need we to got go. plenty of time. All We're right. good. We need to go heavy. Two p.m. on on the East Coast, eleven p.m. on the West Coast. So, uh, <laughs> Virginia Tech Ryan's Lane. Ryan's version of speeding up is is Minus announcing the time for both and East Virginia Coast Virginia Tech's Coast. just missing what their tight end Daquan Wright. I, again, there's optimism in the program. But, but Everyone's coming back. Tulane. So Michael Pratt's opting out to go to the NFL draft. Kai Can't Horton, their backups in the portal. So they're going to be starting just just in. Uh, you beat a. I'm not kidding right now. Virginia Tech's gonna drop like 60 points in this game. They've I mean, been fucking people up. Also, wide receiver Chris Brazell, who is the team's leading receiver, portal, top tight end, portal, uh, their top corner, portal, and two of their starting uh, defensive line, portal. This, uh, you know, everything's telling me, Sean, that we should take Virginia Tech. So, so give me two lane. So give me two lane plus ten I, and a I'm half. I'm telling you right now. Why? Why? Why are you so confident in Tech's offense? Like, do you think they can really run up this score? Yeah, they've been they've been doing that. They've been when they've been playing well, they've been dominant. And in, this is going to feel like a home game for them. They're playing. A, a, I don't want to call them a warm weather team, but they're playing a southern team up north. 
Mm. I assume this is an outdoor stadium. It is. It's Did, where Navy plays. Oh yeah. And, and I assume that we're this, I mean, coach Pro, again, some guys who, some guys who weren't going to stay stayed. I think there's a lot of excitement. I think they're going to win by a million. They're going to score 50 plus and it's going to be a route. It's going to be a celebration of the program being back. They put up 55 against I've never Virginia. Been, Can they do that in back to back games? Never been more confident about a Virginia Tech game. All right, Tulane. That's all I needed to hear. <laughs> North Colby, Car- what are you doing? Virginia? Yeah, I told you. I think it'll be Virginia Tech. So give me Tulane. Never been more confident. <laughs> I'm being sorry. I'm really distracted by the the vision of Matt Patricia. Still goes with a sharpened pencil in his ear. Yeah, Surprised looks sharp. I'm on board with it now. He hasn't poked someone in the eye. Um, look at this. Troy Aikman also paying homage to Italian people with that with that uh, that suit get up there. North Carolina heads to Charlotte with West Virginia two thirty on the West Coast. West Virginia laying six and a half, minus two forty on the money line, plus two hundred for North Carolina. Fifty five and a half is the total. Duke's Mayo Bowl. Please, please, please let me see Mac Brown with mayonnaise all over his head. Uh, first off, shout out because look, we have uh, we have Drake May. Obviously sitting out, but also Tez Walker sitting out. NC Nick had a great tweet. Remember uh, when everyone was mad about Tez and Tez Walker uh, had another ch- had a chance to play in front of his family at the Duke's Mayo Bowl in Charlotte, but passes. That come on, that that's fire because he was arguing that he wants to play in front of his family. Oh, wow. They finally okay him like halfway through the season, and now you have a shot to play. Right, he went to Charlotte High School, right. So he has a chance to play. So what was that? So he might have been uh, bullshit. Uh, bullshit. Uh, it, hilarious tweet. But anyway, uh, also for Carolina, uh, their out. starter se- starting center, their starting linebacker, a, a DB hit the portal. Uh, for West Virginia, they did lose their starting center. They're starting uh, one guy on the defensive line and, and a safety. But you know, I think West Virginia would cover this. So give me North yeah. Carolina, Sean. <laughs> give me West Virginia. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way. We're I'm gonna. I'm with you. West Virginia. This will, be a, this will be a Carolina crowd. No way we're getting the crowd Mac doesn't matter Brown. in bowl oh. games. Come on. <laughs> you think a North Carolina team wants to watch their backups? No. Because you're in Charlotte. What else are you gonna do? Rick oh. Flair, Rick Flair moved to Tampa. Those parties aren't happening anymore. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> right. Excellent hand. Eighty six percent of the bets on West Virginia. Very sharp. That's what I'm list. saying. That's why you gotta take that North oh, Carolina no, no. action. Not not bets, the money. The big the big dollars. <laughs> dollars and cents. Louisville. USC heading to San Diego, California, 5 p.m. on the West Coast. Still talking about games on Tuesday, the 27th. Caleb Williams definitely playing, right? Louisville minus seven and a half, minus 290 on the money line, plus 240 for USC. 57 and a half is the total. Did I also see they just lost the the five star Malachi, whatever his name is? Yeah, uh, he hit the portal. Wow! Why? Why? Oh Caleb God. Williams is going because to the they draft. brought in Will Howard. No way. Why do I know that? I don't know that name. Where do I know that starting name? quarterback of Kansas? State. Oh my god! Yeah, why would they bring that guy in if they have that Mal- Malik? What was his name? Malachi Nelson. Yeah, Malachi Nelson. I watched him throw passes in one of those like one-on-one YouTube uh, receiver videos. Looked pretty good. He was in high school. He was slinging slinging dimes. Uh, that that's pretty that's pretty crazy. USC falling apart at the seams again. How can you possibly take USC? That's what everyone's going to be thinking, though. Really? That is why you take USC. But isn't Louisville sorry, Louisville building something here? Sure, but they, you know. Give me give me Louisville. USC, it's in San Diego. Look, this is a I, failure of a season. Do I they think, still have that same defensive coordinator? No, they hired uh, they got North Dakota State's uh, linebacker. And US, UCLA's defensive coordinator. So yeah. are they are the so the, like that the the uh, They can't start coaching yet though, right? Some have. Fickle did oh. last year at oh, Wisconsin, really? yeah. That's interesting because if if USC still has the same defensive coordinator, I'm on Louisville laying the points. Yeah, give me USC because I think Louisville will cover. <laughs> Louisville, <laughs> amazing bit by Colby. I, That'll I'm, show these bulls. I'm, I'm kind of liking it. He's kind of making it so we can't do the Benedict thing anymore. Yeah. He's just going against. He's, himself he's every giving time. it instant Benedict. It's no, great. I mean, look, I, I I did the first set of bowl games and everything. I thought, uh, like I thought, oh. Ohio was so obvious against Georgia Southern. Oh my god! And I'm sorry, I thought Georgia Southern was so obvious against Ohio. And Ohio just destroys them by 20 points. We thought the same situation with pretty much every other bowl game, with the exception of UCLA Boise. So that's the one that I felt really good about. So that's the theory is just trust the ones you feel really good about, but everything else take what you don't think will happen. I don't know how I missed this. It was it's the Direct TV Holiday Bowl. How is Direct TV have enough money? They're hanging on. They're well, hanging no, on, they're man. Not. They're spending money they don't have. They <laughs> lost football. They're out. All right. Last game. Drew Lock hit a quarterback. What? 
We got okey doked. <laughs> no, I I was saying on the show last night. I was like, yeah, it kind of looks less and less. And then like I said, hey, medical professional, newsbreaker of people. Being yeah, I wasn't. In or out, I wasn't ready. To, I wasn't ready to pull off. the trigger. Okay, so don't don't try to tout <laughs> it today. Then six p.m. on the West Coast, Houston, Texas. Texas A and M, Oklahoma State. This one is hilarious. Texas A and M minus two and a half, <laughs> minus one thirty five on the money line. Oklahoma State plus one fifteen. Fifty three and a half is the total. We got the Tax Act this, Texas Bowl. This is the best one, dude, because you are looking at ready for this quarterback. Max Johnson is okay. out. Connor Wegman, Wait. the backup, is out for the year. Tight end Jake Johnson is out. Offensive lineman Chase uh, Bisantis is out. Five star defensive lineman Walter Nolan is out as they transfer. Oh, defensive end Fidel Diggs transferred. Two cor- three cornerbacks that played pretty substantial times transferred. Anita mm. Smith, the star wideout for them, uh, he opted out. Wide receiver mm. Evan Stewart, f- former five star, opted out. Offensive guard Layden Robinson opted out. Defensive tackle McKinley Jackson opted out. Linebacker so Edrian Cooper, Texas A&M. opted out. Jimbo Fisher uh, obviously was fired. So you're working with <laughs> uh, uh, and, and get this. Their defensive coordinator Elijah Robinson has been hired by Syracuse, so he was the interim head coach. He says he still will coach the bowl, but he's at Syracuse now. Uh, meanwhile, Oklahoma State has a couple guys in the portal, but Gundy has a great track record in bowl games, and I think that's the difference here. Yeah, yeah. this is an actual Colby handicap, and I'm with you. Ohio State uh, is the Oklahoma player. State. Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. State. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Same difference. You know how Same bad difference. they're gonna get crushed. Oh, I'm looking at OSU. I mean, oh, Jason Kelsey is doing battle in the background. The bill. Oh, are they showing us Jalen Hurts own private jet just for himself? What, look at all those re- natural resources he's wasting just because he's got a little cold. All the what, what are you doing in this game, Kramer? Oh, oh, you can't fade Gundy in the bowl. I'm, I'm, I don't think I've ever faded Gundy in a bowl game <laughs> on this program. Ohio State bowl bowl game. They they can get to ten wins. I think they're going to be up for this. Ohio State plus two and a half. <laughs> Uh, Go Buckeyes! I'm, sorry, Oklahoma I'm, State. I'm on Oklahoma State. <laughs> I, I'm, it does Wait, were it. you not doing a bit there? No, the oh. second. <laughs> it's like the way uh, you go fuck yourself, San Diego. <laughs> Come on, I got my foot out the door. Uh, Hall of Fame bets, your place to watch Ohio State. Uh, <laughs> optimized parlays, they got you covered over at hofbets.com or download the Hall of Fame bets app. No joke, all jokes aside, Hall of Fame Bets, sweet tool helping you build those optimized parlays. Bet smarter, not harder with Hall of Fame Bets. Love it. Uh, promo code SGPN. Get 50% off your first month. You cannot beat it. Don't even try. HOFBets.com, promo code SGPN. Kramer, what do you do? I was just scrolling up to see how ridiculous the amount of games we picked was. Lock, Virginia Tech, Lock, Oklahoma State, Dog. Didn't take a ton of dogs. <laughs> Scrolling this back guy up every year, every episode, he takes two dogs. <laughs> Give me Air Force. <laughs> oh no, Ryan. <laughs> Plus one fifteen. <laughs> Northwestern two is a nice one, but I'm not. I'm taking Air Force. All really right, putting put myself out there. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, for me, Sean's up. Yes, I'm up. Uh, who did I really? Uh... You loved Ohio State. <laughs> yeah. No, I do. But even though they lost their quarterback to Syracuse, I mean. here's what we'll do. We will take oh, shit. Uh, Utah State <laughs> minus three. Oof. Ohio State, your other luck. Yes, yeah. Utah State minus three. Um, then Air Force plus two and a half, and then UNLV on the money line. Rebels get it done. What was your tease, Ryan? Oh, I forgot we were doing a tease. Okay. We didn't get it. Yeah, if we want to get back to it, I can give you a tease. Look, All right, no tease. Right. No, you know what? Colby <laughs> said that he does, he hates bowl season, but he does like a good tease. You should not be teasing bowl season, but what are you doing for your tease? All right, let's see. Because, yeah, you might, the line movement might just happen organically. Let's go Louisville okay. minus one and a half. Okay. Let's go Air Force eight and a half plus eight and a half. Let's go Oklahoma State plus eight and a half. Okay. I got West Virginia down to minus a half. Uh, Oklahoma State plus eight and a half, and then uh, last but not least, give me Duke uh, plus thirteen and a half. True, Colby. We're locking up Air Force. Yes. Oh, this is not going to go well. Why are you guys ruining Air Force? The bonus lock. We love America. The bonus lock is what was the other one I felt good about? There's another one I felt Oklahoma State. 
Okay. So you and Kramer have the same. Well, Kramer no, played Air Force you, as the dog. What do you mean? Yeah, the dog is actually USC because the ACC never wins on the West Coast. Ooh, All right, well, that's, uh, a, that's a fairly good handicap there. And then the T's were going. What does not make any sense? Um, I'm excited for this. Let's cross that Minnesota number. Oh, you going to oh, Minnesota oh, plus two? Oh, 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 whoa! <laughs> uh, uh, let's take. Let's take Tulane up to sixteen and a half. What the fuck? Yeah, you got you got to you got to zag, buddy. Oh my god! Uh, and then you don't watch the games. The Cole. big one that no one's seeing coming is Eastern Michigan plus twenty one and a half. Let's go. E no, you're, you're right. No one's seeing. Go that coming. Eagles! <laughs> no, three games in the state of Alabama <laughs> all on the Saturday. What are we doing? You don't need three. Consolidate. And Let's shout get out one. to CJ Sullivan for this fly ass hat. All right, we get our bowl game going. That looks like it's been whoever worn. donates the most money can wear this all game. Who wore that? Looks like pre-worn. <laughs> all right, we gotta watch uh, some NFL football. We'll be back with Colby uh, talking college basketball picks later on this week. Make sure you subscribe to the College Basketball Experience and toss us a nice five-star rating review. Always appreciate it. Helps keep the lights on and do your part in the war against corporate gambling. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean Stacking the Money Green. He's Ryan. Please leave a five star review. Kramer, let it <laughs> ride.